If you want to know the best comedy TV shows, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2000s. What does this do? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Scrubs, 2001. He's the one that needs to cry, you idiot, not me! Ah! Oh yeah, I forgot all about that crying stuff. Scrubs is a medical comedy drama television series created by Bill Lawrence. As one of the top-known sitcoms, Scrubs is the journey of several friends and first and foremost, Christopher and John, who are both working in a big city hospital. The long-going series captures the absurd adventures they both go through under their cynical boss. Together, they try to make their day as two extremely childish and hilarious douchebags in a place where you must grow up to succeed. I was just, I was trying to, uh... Oh, I know exactly what you're trying to do, but... You're not gonna break my Christmas spirit. You can't. Not ever. I'm the holly jolly janitor. Hi, little girl, what do you want for Christmas? Number nine. How I Met Your Mother, 2005. It's been like 20 minutes. You think they're doing it? You think they're doing it in front of the dogs? Mm -hmm. Doggy style. <laughs> How I Met Your Mother is a sitcom television series created by Craig Thomas and Carter Bays. The premise of this infamous journey of a group of friends is defined by its title, as we follow several adults through a rather absurd but always charismatic day-to-day -day life in New York. We also follow the story of main protagonist, Ted Mosby, which he tells to his children. Known for its unique structure, humor, it is the story of how he met the woman of his life. I'm gonna be a mushroom cloud of casual. You know why? Because it's a game. I wanted to skip to the end and do the whole happily ever after thing, but you don't get there unless you play the game. So you're gonna ask her out? Yeah. No, I can't ask her out because if I ask her out, I'm asking her out. So how do I ask her out without asking her out? Number eight, Californication. 2007. But I don't think that's gonna get it done. <sighs> what about a blowjob? Hmm? Californication is a comedy drama television series created by Tom Capinos. Set in Los Angeles, the series follows Hank Moody, a troubled Playboy author who tries to juggle his career, his relationship with his daughter, and his ex-girlfriend, as well as his appetite for beautiful women. But the self-loathing, narcissistic author struggles to overcome writer's block, and when his new novel is stolen and published under the name of a woman he had sex with, the new gained absurdity is unstoppable. A blowjob from you. Well, something tells me it's not gonna suck itself, Hank. <laughs> no, but, but sure none. I'm not totally fucking hot none. Number seven. Modern Family, 2009. Honey, breathe. Just, just breathe. That's what I told you when you were in labor, and you threw my smoothie at me, Bill! Modern Family is a mockumentary family sitcom television series created by Christopher Lloyd and Stephen Leviton. This extremely successful and heartwarming family journey explores the different kinds of family in the modern world. Throughout its long run, we see several characters grow up and find their own way in life, while they are all part of one big family that cares, worries, but is also full of hilarious conflicts. The many three-dimensional and loved characters are what makes this journey a special experience. Who was looking at naked pictures? That doesn't matter. I wasn't. It wasn't me. It's gross. I'm 10. Wait a minute. What's wrong with you people? If it wasn't you, who was it? Manja! Number six, Entourage, 2004. Hello. Hey, Vince, it's Scarlett. Is this, uh, is this a bad time? Hey, Scarlett. Hey, how are you? Entourage is a comedy drama television series created by Doug Ellen. This intense behind the scenes experience of Hollywood was loosely inspired by the experience of Mark Wahlberg as an upcoming Hollywood star. It chronicles the acting career of Vincent Chase, a young movie star, and his childhood friends as they attempt to further their nascent careers in Los Angeles. Together with a trusty agent, the group explores the real-life situations in modern-day Hollywood, and many famous actors, athletes, and other celebrities who play themselves join them on their journey. Guess who? Um, Edward James 
Almas. All right. <laughs> you didn't even say his name right. <laughs> hey, How are what's you? Up? How you doing? Good. Nice to see you. Oh, hey, boys. Hey, hey what's going on? Hi, Jessica. Number five. Parks and Recreation, 2009. We move in there. I'll take the west wing, you take the east wing, and you can be the first gentleman. Actually, that sounds kind of great. <laughs> Parks and Recreation is a political satire sitcom television series created by Greg Daniels and Michael Schur. This mockumentary-style filmed cynical depiction of the business world follows the inner workings of the Parks and Recreation Department of the fictional town Pawnee. While main protagonist Leslie Nope, a true workaholic, believes in the government and its job, she finds herself challenged when overrun by bureaucracy and red tape. Together with her weird allies, she must overcome many obstacles as they pursue sundry projects to make their city a better place. The reason you're here is, I'm told, you've done such a great job in your town and in the state of Indiana, and I just want to say congratulations for your public service. I just want to say thank you. Well, you, you, you're very welcome. You're very Number four, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, 2005. I'm a full-on rapist, you know, uh, Africans, dyslexics, children, that sort of thing. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is a sitcom television series created by Rob McElhenney. Full of charismatic characters, we follow a self-called gang, five friends who are all misfits and unsuccessfully trying to lead the Paddy's Pub, an Irish bar in South Philadelphia all suffering from serious personal problems like drug abuse, addiction, and egoism. The show often confronts them with each other when they try to make personal gains rather than the wealth of the whole group. Did you say you're a full-on rapist? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I help, I help people, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a, a full, a full, a full um, A philanthropist? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It gets blocked up in my mouth. I don't say it no good, so. Number three, Arrested Development, 2003. Buster, you can't do that on the balcony, buddy. Mom says it's too windy. Arrested Development is a sitcom television series created by Mitchell Hurwitz. The show follows a very wealthy yet extremely dysfunctional family. While every member is either an alcoholic, cynical, or just a big loser, they all must learn to hold together to overcome something that threatens them all. Now a young man must lead the family and their real estate development following a tremendous security fraud fiasco that puts the family's father in jail and leaves more chaos among the family. We brought in over $40,000. Unbelievable. Sounds like you saved enough skin to make 10 new boys. Most of that money was from the Bluth Company. <laughs> I mean, how are you? Number two. Community, 2009. Check out my posse and Troy's monkey. Why do you have a monkey? Uh, it's an animal that looks like a dude. Why don't I have 10 of them? Community is a sitcom television series created by Dan Harmon. This all-time fan favorite, hilarious journey of friends trying to make a good time at a local community college starts with Jeff Winger. After being suspended from his law firm when it is discovered that he lied about a college degree, he now tries his luck legally. There, he meets the weirdest friends who all struggle with their very own problems, and the series embarks on a wild journey of meta-humor and pop culture references. Isn't that right, Annie's boobs? Please rename that thing, and this time not with a contest on Twitter. It's his Twitter account. He can do what he wants. They are my body parts. You know what I'm I appreciate. do not I have sex in dreadlocks right now. Right so right for his company when she oh, yeah. Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. Nothing wrong, I'm fine, but you stop getting at me, you're always getting at me. I'm not getting at you, stop shouting at me. Why are these things always so hard to open? Dog! <laughs> Whoa, calm down, everybody! What do you think? A tad asymmetrical, but nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> Sheldon, I need you. To what? <laughs> to take me. I'm not taking you anywhere until you put on a shirt. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Wow, Larry, that's a very personal question. Really? I don't know if you want me to ask you a bunch of personal questions. Yeah, ask me anything you want. Okay, when is the last time you jacked off? <laughs> this morning. Number one. The Office, 2005. Question. 
What kind of bear is best? It's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. The Office is a mockumentary sitcom created by Greg Daniels. In this hilarious all-time audience favorite depiction of the boring and quite often depressing office life, we follow several main protagonists all working in the same space. Even though it's filled with conflicts and everybody is, to some extent, self-centered, its loving family character is undeniable and makes up for a purely entertaining, joyful lesson to brighten up the gray atmosphere of our day-to-day -day work. And if I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. No. Oh. That's, uh, okay. You were All right. really funny, and then you went too far. I would kill Bin Laden and then Toby. No, that's it's still... It's still uh, okay, geniuses, how would you do it? Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more Top 10 TV Show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.